Hi everybody in, in YouTube land, fellow bin shoppers, uh, fellow bargain hunters, whoever you may be. Hi, my name is Daryl and I like to talk about uh, shopping and styling and um, and in this particular case about the, the stuff I get at the Goodwill bins. Um, it's a great way to be sustainable in your clothing choices and still um, look look good with the stuff that you get. So I'm going to show you what I got on my last trip and some of the little things that I've done too to hopefully make them work. So let's start. This dress is from Scotch and Soda and I just fell in love with this fabric. So I put it on and it was like this much too small. So um I decided that I was gonna take the zipper out of the back of it and see if I could resurrect it in some way. So right now I've given it um, just an open back and I think it works okay, aside from my foundation garment underneath there. And I'll have a talk about that stuff in a few minutes too. <laughs> but I'm going to take some ribbon and I'm gonna just make a, a tie right here and it will look just like a lot of other dresses. And then I get to keep all of these cute tears in this amazing fabric. So I think it's gonna work okay. Um, it's a, like a $250 dress and um, at $1.89 a pound, it was probably less than $1.89. <laughs> so let's go on. I'm back to recording in my office again for a little bit, just because it's a little smaller, a little warmer, a little more contained. And since we're getting ready for Christmas and stuff, it's just a little bit easier to keep everything in here. Um, the, my piles of clothing get to uh, start looking sort of unattractive after a while. And the next thing is the, um, I'm going to wear this foundation piece underneath all of my pieces. Um, not only for the magical smoothing effects. <laughs> Here's where you added in stars and dreamy things, right? Unicorns. <laughs> um, but also it keeps uh, you from running into wardrobe m mishaps, which I've had more than uh, enough of those. So <laughs> we're going to just go with this and and uh, and see how everything looks. I didn't really plan this outfit, but it worked out kind of good. Um, this does not have a brand name on it. It's a uh, wetsuit, I guess. Um, I have, I did find comps that um, they're uh um, it may be a, a made in China dupe, but anyway, it works. And when I go swimming in the lake this summer, <laughs> I can wear it <laughs> and it's paired up with these shorts. These are from Athleta and these are, uh, called their swim sculpt swim shorts and they are new with tags. <laughs> so see, I could just go pop in the lake right now. <laughs> this dress is from a brand called Biba and I believe they are made in India and they are generally a modest kind of dress but this one is super cute. I love the tears and um, okay <laughs> I thought it looked pretty modern see and just easy to wear. You could probably cinch it with a belt here. I think I would. And I've paired it up with these awesome shoes from Eileen Fisher. And I'll show you these close up. Um, I was super happy with these. Aren't these cute? I have wanted a pair of these for so long. This is just butter soft leather. They are a perfect fit. Just so cute. Really happy with them. So I can accessorize almost everything today with shoes. I got a whole bunch of them. So uh, this top is really, it's a top, but I like wear it, I think, as a swimsuit cover up. It's got really super deep armholes here. It's, um, it's long enough to wear around. As you can see, very cute. 
and um, I don't think that tie-dye is going to disappear. Um, so, and then I've got it paired up with these cute shoes. Let's see if I can... <laughs> it would be better just to take them off and show them to you, huh? Brand new Javianas. These are about 40 bucks a pair. And I didn't think they'd fit me, but really, because I wear about a nine, and these are seven, eight, so they're okay. Let's try. What I'd like to do is just lounge back and show you my shoes. <laughs> you know, like like on a photo shoot, you know, my feet, I'm they're just I'm just kicked back, relaxing. <laughs> Shoes are from uh, Gianni Bini, um, which I think is Neiman. Not entirely sure. And then I'll show you this dress. This is from Jarbo. So I pulled this off the shoulders. This has, has um, this nice ruching detail through here. And I think you could probably, I don't know, ruch it up a bit. This beautiful dress is from Sundance. And um, if you check out the comps, um, it will have the um, style names and then the um, uh, original price. So look at this cute thing. <laughs> this dress is from Laura, Lara Giadotti. I own it already. I think it's in a different print, but it's a silk blend. Let me show you this, and then I'm going to put, I think, a belt on with it, because I think it seriously needs one. See, it just doesn't, it doesn't blouse very much here, and it doesn't blouse very much here, and it obliterates my waist, What there is a one. And... Uh, Hopefully this will help this look a little bit better. What do you think? It's really floaty, pretty fabric. Now I got this dress <laughs> just for the fun of it. Um, it's Fashion Nova, which again should just be for the fun of it, right? What we've got going here. Guess I need to scoop back here. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Super cute dress. Check out the smocking. This is from Intimately Free People. <laughs> so I like this a lot better now that I decided it's a dress and not a skirt. Needless to say, I will probably not ever wear it anywhere. But look at this. It's a, like a fake taffeta. With, it's got three tiers and then a lining that comes to about here. So I am pretty sure it is a dress. It's a little on the small side for me, but at least that way I know it won't fall down. So a couple more cute pieces. Um, this shirt is from a brand called Gaudi. Gaudi, it's Italian. And then these cute jeans, which I just love the fit of, are um, mom jeans from Divided. So, you know, they weren't expensive. They were probably $29 to start with. Um, but they are a super good fit for me. Um, I've gotten smarter finally and I, I'm making my jeans fit my waist and not my hips because, you know, I'm a lot more concerned with um, that they fit well in my waist really and then in my hips. I don't mind having a little bit of fabric there. 
Um, these shoes are from Mark Fisher. Oh, I hear my Roomba. She's going to come in, I think. <laughs> so, super cute. So here I can almost do the relaxed footwear thing. So, check these shoes out. These are from Madewell. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I got a couple of other things that I'll show you that um, are kind of fun. They have books there, and I'm a big reader, so I got um, five books. Um, two of them are hardbacks um, for two fifty. I got these shoes. I thought they would fit my son, but they're too big. These are from Mark Nason, and they're the Bryson. And I'm going to list these on eBay soon. This is a cashmere infinity scarf from Martha Stewart. This is gorgeous. This is a 300 something dollar blouse from Rebecca Taylor. And unfortunately, sometimes her stuff's blousey enough I can get into the little sizes, but that's a four and it's not blousey enough. <laughs> I got my husband these uh, hang tan shorts because they're nice water beachy things. A um, couple other undergarments, which one of these is kind of is more awesome oh this is Kala, and this is a they call it a brahmi which i love these things comfy um yet yeah, still with coverage and support and all of those fun things <laughs> this is a giant cashmere sweater it's an extra large extra extra large <laughs> from uniqlo and I didn't see any flaws in it, and so I'm just gonna keep it, and I, I will get inspired and do something with it. <laughs> Likewise, this piece of velvet. <laughs> a couple more things. This is a uh, Tommy Bahama. Uh, relaxed and the sub brand is some island something island zone and it's reversible and now the last of my things to show you on the body I think got a lot of dresses huh and watch I'm gonna do a video about how to style black pants and uh, shiny ones to be particular so keep your eyes open for that long time this is from H&M and I would call it a sleeveless vest but they called it something else you'll see it in the comps sleeveless shirt jacket or something like that anyway I just absolutely love it I like it with these pants and the shirt I'd probably need to put some shoes on, heck. <laughs> this is a gorgeous um, silk-like blouse from Ann Taylor Main Store. Um, I got it because I really liked the print. It's pretty, isn't it? Got a thing about silk taffeta right now. <laughs> this is from, this is a vintage and it's from, a, well, one of them had its, its a tag on it still. It was from Lowman's and um, the brand is M-A-G or Mag. And I think that is the forerunner for Magashoni. Um, but this is just gorgeous. It's probably 20, 25 years old. It's my guess. I kind of remember when these were the, the, the big style. Um, so I can just see lots of ways to wear this. I think it's really pretty. 
And likewise, this one is silk. And this is from an Australian brand called um, Palmer E. Palmer. And it's definitely um, probably early 90s. Uh, it had shoulder pads. But here's what I really like about it is this graphic on the back. This beautiful dress is from Free People, and I couldn't find a comp on it, um, but I'm guessing it was probably about $148 on the higher end of their stuff. And it's two layers of this fabulous fabric. Look at that. It's just crying for a hat, isn't it? But we don't have a hat, we have a kimono. And I think this goes perfectly with this to the point where I think they may have been purchased together. Um, this is in, is it in, no, it's flat out free people. So check this out. Nice way to give yourself a little bit of coverage. But aren't they pretty? I think the colors are just perfectly complementary. And this this uh, kind of two different kinds of print. So I think that's the end of it all. Um, check uh, the video description and uh, that will give you uh, hopefully chapters at some point. <laughs> or at least some clickable links and um as well as uh better descriptions i'm i'm just kind of going by what i remember so um it will tell you the style names for a lot of these things for example this is a style name and i think it was 69 dollars. so that's it my friends thanks for staying with me we'll see you soon